experience with on-site ergonomic assessments and human performance evaluation creation. What does that even that mean? That is the fun part of my job. You make stuff up? I get to go? go to where people work and watch them work and analyze their mechanics and then design a test to recreate that in the clinic. Oh, that's cool. For pre-employment physicals. Oh, very cool. I like that. Awesome, yeah. man. For pre-employment, oh, pre-employment physicals. Right. Oh, very cool. Awesome. Which is great. You know, that's the preventative care. Repair. That's what we're all that's, about. That's, that's a part of your goal is. Okay. Like, does, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Well, we well do, I can cut it out. That's part of what. Do, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we do uh, uh, prevention as well. That's a, okay. a huge part of it. That okay. is, it will, well, probably work. We're going to get to a little bit later. Okay. Yeah, so I, I'll yeah. tell you a story about that. I had a, a little Hispanic woman, barely spoke English. I forgot her name. Uh, she was like this tall. Um, she wasn't over five feet. High. She was like up to here to me. Anyways. She had a job where she worked in a manufacturing where she had to pick something out of a off of a table and put it into a machine that was basically like my head level. Yeah. Right? yeah. And, and so she's like every every time, all day. And that's how she tore a rotator cuff. And so I went out there and I, I saw it was at a at a very prominent big eyeglass company where they make eyeglasses and she was taking the lenses and having to put them in, in a polisher machine to polish the lenses after they're cut, right? And I was watching her do this and I was like and I went and got the manager. And I was like, look, this is the problem. Give her a stool and this won't yeah. happen again. And they got her a stool. <laughs> well, it was something so simple, right? But she yeah. wouldn't have known. Like if, yeah. if she didn't have that option to have like the ergonomic evaluation, mm -hmm. she, would awesome. have, she would have retorn it, right? That's one good thing or over, yeah. over time. Yeah. yeah. And that, and that was actually, um, that incident sparked me going back to that factory and writing up a performance evaluation and an ergonomic assessment for every position they have there. Oh man, that'd be cool to have yeah, that kind of I gig think... just to do that all over the place. It took me two days. That'd be, yeah. I'm just saying, I was there gig, for like you call like Tesla, hey, I'm coming by, let me check your place. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that, that'd be a good, yeah. good uh, I think that should be job. like a, a really, like a new thing. Like it should well, be kind there, of there a... people that do that, aren't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well... It, Usually, so I've thought about doing it, doing my own thing and, and do, just doing those, but it's, it's hard to market because there's not that big of a need for it because finding the people that do have that need yeah. is kind of tough. Now, another thing that I do with the company is um, we do back school mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. train the trainer, mm -hmm. which I've, I've gone to a few companies and I'll train the employees on lifting mechanics and, mm -hmm. and working mechanics well, uh, adapting yeah. to what their, their environment is. And then we also do a train the trainer where I train... The managers how to watch for ergonomic problems right. and how to nip them in the butt early yeah that's cool well, that's one thing you could do as a marketing scheme is uh just just thinking about it like you go to the insurance companies that have work comp mm -hmm. you say hey i'm here to do this and i can save y'all a lot of money right. a lot of hassle in the long run and your businesses you can tell them to get a discount mm -hmm. on their insurance if they let me go and do this yeah right. and then you get paid for it too so yeah it's like a it's like a consulting job that's cool very cool no, yeah, and i think a, a, a lot of places are lacking that yeah i think they would because that's prevention that's what we're all about Right, Stop and that's garbage. Before and that kind of where this conversation kind of began with, and it's going to yeah. end with, is yeah. this all the the whole shoulder rotator cuff tear, labral tear, all this is all because something bad happened, mm -hmm. and it was either because of a of a terrible accident, something bad happened, or it was preventable yeah. because of an ergonomic problem that they had at work or whatever. And so our job really is to put ourselves out of business because if we train people well enough and we go on site and we do all these these consulting things, we should prevent at least 50% of the injuries that I see mm -hmm. on a daily basis. I'd say 50% of them could be pre prevented. Like a big one that we, we did, we didn't go on site and do this, but we talk, We had to talk to their HR, was a very prominent uh, grocery company in Texas that we all know and love. Um, they started the curbside thing, remember? Mm -hmm. And well, now, now everybody knows what it is. <laughs> everybody does curbside. Everybody does curbside. Yeah, everybody does curbside. So um, when they started it, though, the, the racks that they were using – I was getting people after people after people that had injuries because of these these racks. And so my boss and my boss's boss, the VP level, they went to their HR VP people and said, hey, we got a problem. Like, I mean, we love the business and everything, but, you know, these uh, these people have got to uh, stop getting hurt because this is not good. Well, yeah, it takes them out of work and then it takes, right. yeah, it's, and so, it's money out of the company and everything. So my company talked to their company and they, they did a consultation thing like that and we recommended ways to to change and that's what they have now is the improved less injury prone version of that so okay. i had a i had a lady that tore tore her achilles because the the thing rolled up on the back of her foot yeah oh. like it sliced it yeah oh my god i had i had Nightmare. a couple rotator cuff tear surgeries because of those things oh yeah it was 
Yeah, that was like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah.